All right, so what's up everyone on YouTube? I hope everyone is doing great as usual, enjoying Tekken, although it's a little hard these days considering, you know, I go online into rank battle. There's a Leroy, oh, there's another Leroy. And then you look behind you and behind the dumpster, you see those dreads, you know, and you're like, oh shit, there's one hiding there as well. So, great news to everyone. I've been talking a lot about Leroy in my last videos and how, you know, the, the recent patch didn't quite do the job. Actually, it didn't do the job at all. He's still very much in his own tier, super overpowered, far above Akuma uh, and Geese and all the other characters we see as very strong in Tekken. And I guessed that, oh, they're probably gonna hurry along a patch. Uh, we, we got to know just as much from Murray that him and Harada would be stressing another balance patch. But here, they act he actually says that um, it's gonna come mid-February. And as optimistic, when I was at my most optimistic, I thought maybe Baby will get another patch for Leroy at the end of February, you know, or beginning of March. But so this is amazing news, and we're gonna talk about this, and then there's a little heads up regarding uh, updates as well, that you're good, oh, sorry regarding um, the new feature, replay and my, my replays and tips. You know, that amazing new feature, I, I love it. It's the best, thank God for that. Um, there, there's a little thing you, you need to know about that as well. But let's just read this tweet. So it's from Michael Murray, who is the uh, head producer now of Tekken. Tekken 7 update version 3.21, so that's the next one. Uh, the garbage patch for Leroy that didn't really do anything was 3.20, 3.2. So the next update is 3.21, will include battle adjustments, nerfing, it's probably not buffing. <laughs> no, you get it. There's one patch note, fixed an issue where Pimkin was not plus 8 anymore, it was minus 7. We didn't mean to do that, that was a slip up, naughty intern, or maybe like, oh no, it, it was, he, the guy who programmed that, he read it wrong, it was supposed to be plus 7. Of course we don't go from plus eight to minus seven. We go from plus eight to plus seven. Because plus seven, that, that's much better for you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, adjustments to Leroy Smith is planned for release in mid-February. Battle balancing adjustments for other characters will also be done before the start of the Tekken World Tour 2020. That is in April. Stay tuned for more details. So, what exactly is he saying here? He's saying that we will see two patches, and one patch is going to be exclusively for Leroy. This will probably be called the Evo Japan Emergency Gotta Save Tekken 7 from Eternal Doom Leroy Nerf Patch. So, in mid-February, you have it here from Michael Murray himself, they will be doing a patch exclusively to tone down Leroy Smith. I'm very happy about this, and it's faster than I ever expected. So you can rest assured here that they are taking everyone's complaints very, very seriously. This is very quick. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy about this. It will probably, we'll see what the nerfs are, but it will probably not be an additional, you know, several months of getting destroyed by Leroy's online. Something is going to happen again very soon. Um, I just hope they do a good job now. And of course, as much as everyone is screaming about Leroy, they have to be a bit careful. They can't overdo it. So the question is, are they again going to give him an additional uh, slap on the wrist, do a few nerfs, and then, um, you know, progressively over the year, give him another slap, another slap, another slap, and eventually we have a workable character? Or are they now going to give him, you know, the chainsaws to the kneecaps, basically, because everyone is so fed up with the character. So it's a very difficult situation they are in. You have the most successful visual design of all time, basically, in terms of Tekken, and it's like, the gameplay isn't working. What do we do? You don't want to destroy him completely. So I don't envy them. It's a very difficult position, but I'm very happy that they are listening to us and they are very serious about making sure we all still enjoy Tekken. So great news. But sur surprisingly is also that there will be a second patch. Battle balancing adjustments for other characters will also be done before the start of the Tekken World Tour 2020. 
So interestingly, they are still not done with season three balancing. When, when this starts with Tekken World Tour 2020, we will be in April. And that is what? Eight months into... We, we will only have four more months of... Uh, what? Uh, season three before... I, I'm guessing season four is going to be revealed. Um, so it's like, man, season three has really been all over the place. It's, it's never had any... Like season one and season two, they were released and then there were some minor, minor changes and it, was, it basically was allowed time to rest a little bit and some form of meta formed. But with season three, it's like, it's, it's just always changing. It's like, it, it really is a clusterfuck this season, it feels like. But most of it is, is thanks to, to Leroy. And then I also think that it, it is a problem, this power creep that suddenly a lot they removed it for Dragunov thank god that sneak cancel was too much but a lot of characters have like the craziest wall travel now and damage and uh, suddenly characters like Heihachi used to do a lot of damage or Armor King they they weren't as exclusive anymore you know it, it wasn't seen as it wasn't really a big contrast anymore seeing Armor King and Heihachi's damage and then you had characters like well I mean Leroy for one you know or Negan or you know, in, I don't know how many characters got a damage buff in uh, in season three, but certainly there's a lot of them, you know, or Jin's combo buff with that wall travel. And you're like, Lee, who needs Lee anymore? You know, that was his identity. Great wall travel. And then it's taken away from him. Um, and OK, so they are going to um, do additional balancing. I, I wonder what that. I know what it means, but I, I don't know what it means in terms of what characters they are going to change. I'd love to see some changes to Gigas, but I know that... I've learned now, is what I want to say, that uh, I've started to understand what their look is on the character. They're like, oh, it's super easy in one way. 1-2 one, and down 2 as punishment. It's very easy. You don't have to keep a lot of punishes in your head. He's very basic in that way. He has some basic tools that can help you a lot. Like, oh, they can't break throws. I have an enormous throw for that. I have a long range jab that can annoy people. Long range down for one. Uh, as I said, easy punishment. Some interesting gimmicks in his rage drive and charge up attacks. And I, I honestly think that the, the balancing, the tuning team's idea of Gigas is an, um, an easy character to pick up and play. Uh, in terms of punishment and long range, but in the end, he's supposed to be weak. I, I mean, I, I can't... But it's but it's not like he's easy as in Katarina Noctis, where they can just, you know, do long range strings and sweeps and whatever. Gigas doesn't have that. So it's like... I think Gigas is very interesting in that he is so weak and so lackluster in many areas. And I guess maybe it's better to leave him there rather than have him become one of the others. Isn't it kind of interesting that he's so shit in a way? Uh, so Gigas, I'm, well, I'm more for don't touch him, honestly. Uh, but I do hear that uh, on paper, Eliza is very, we very weak, and that's obvious when you look at her tools, although gimmick queen and uh, the absolute majority of players, 99% get blown up because we never see the character, no one knows the matchup, no one has any muscle memory. Um, but um, Akuma will probably be taken down a notch again. Maybe, maybe even Geese will be nerfed, I think. The character is doing so well, still so strong. Maybe a damage nerf. Uh, Lars should be buffed. I hope they do so. Um, God, I almost want my tier list in front of me. Uh, I think they could buff Kuma and Panda, Panda. I don't know why those characters were nerfed. Um... Maybe, not really Lei. I think Lei players have to step up. And maybe Chloe, buff a little bit. Um, yeah. But in terms of top tiers, I, I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Paul could get a damage nerf, though. Paul hits like a fucking truck. Uh, times five. Um, so, yeah, I, I wonder what they will do with that. But, oh, oh, sorry, God, why do I... St uh, very important. Now everyone on YouTube has clicked away because the average view time is usually around five, six minutes. 
Uh, I should have said this at the start, but uh, in another tweet, Michael Murray uh, pinpointed that with every update that comes to Tekken, boom, all of your replays don't work anymore. You know, because it's not a recorded video when you save a replay, it saves the inputs. And when you update the game, it's a new version of the game. It's not the same characters. It can't load the old update. So... Uh, just uh, please keep that in mind. If you have cool replays right now, save them to something. Your favorite replays. You know, re re record them, uh, save them to a hard drive, or just do something with them because they will not work anymore as soon as this is updated. So again, like everyone has to know that. Uh, because you don't want to sit around your gold mine replay. Oh, I got Tekken God Prime and you got a triple perfect God match. Oh, I'll never be able to do that again. And then, oh, got updated. Replay. <laughs> what? What? Ah! Ah! You don't want that to happen to you. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be it. A great news. Um, unbelievably great news. I'm so happy with the developers. They're listening to us. They take, they're taking us very seriously. Um, I, I'm super happy. Super happy. So I hope everyone on YouTube has a nice day. Take care, guys. Wu Song, thanks for the donation.